all right so what is up youtube today um uh i'm just gonna ask you guys straight out as you can tell by the title i need some damn help with this deck um uh like i told you guys on monday if you did not watch the video go check it out uh <laughs> like i told you guys on monday i was thinking about making a ill ill blood supervised deck well, you know with the power tools like gigavice and stuff that's why i named it ill vice and yeah okay so uh yeah i wanted to make this deck and now the deck is you know it does go off i'm not gonna say it doesn't but my whole thing with this is that it takes like a turn to set up and i know i know what you're saying it's like okay that's not really bad but in in if i want to make this competitive or able to play in like if i take it to a regional or a tournament or something I need something to just get this deck like already cracking like on the first turn. Like, you know, I can't escape bad hands, but I'm not talking about just bad hands. I'm just talking about like decent hands. And you just bam, take it straight off, run off with it, and just, you know, blow your opponent out. Um, I do need some help with that. I do need some help with consistency, what I should take out or something. And that's why, you know, I'm asking you guys, let me know what you uh what you guys, you know, uh can what do you guys think would help this deck out do you think i should take the lords out because these are pretty much last minute it's not really the best card uh i mean i don't really draw it too much but i only put it in there so i can just speed up the deck and as you can see what <laughs> excuse me it's only seven monsters aren't dark and we have ddr so they that also helps with that but yeah, let me know. Uh, this card right here is is one of the main reasons why I even built this deck, is because this card is just fantastic. I I mean I didn't know how good this goddamn card was. Um, if you guys don't know what this card is, it's Catalyst Field and it's for Gemini, and pretty much what it does is allow you to normal summon any Gemini um, for free. And then uh, if you have not already normal summoned that turn, you could uh, pretty much use it effect again, or if it's already on the field. You can use it like let's say you spell summon with Mizuki. You could just use the uh, the effect. You can either normal summon it from your hand for free, um, or you could normal you could when it's already on the field normal summon it with the with this is a with this field card's effect, and then it's going to gain its effect. Or if you just never if this is your first turn, you could normal summon it normal summon it again and get its effect. So pretty much it's a double summon in a field card for Gemini's, which is amazing. This card is so fucking good. It helped me out so many times because I, when I was name, I was like searching ill blood, and like I've already done synchro summon and stuff. And then I was like, wait a minute, I, can I normal summon it? So I clicked on it, and bam, yes, you can. You can normal summon it again, and that's just extra. So if you got like a super bike, you could just continue to go off. Um, so yeah, like I said, the deck does work. Uh, I do got I do got some replays, and by some replays, I mean like sixteen or seventeen replays. Um, but I'm not going to show you guys all of those because a lot of them are just either people quitting or it's just like it's either people quitting um me waiting like three or four turns and then exploding and beating my opponent and stuff like that that's pretty much the two replays there's not really too many uh good replays i would say what is this one this must is i think this one is good um yeah this one's pretty good you know i end with a field i'm just gonna let that play why uh I pretty much talk but yeah a lot of people just quit when I just start to go off and I guess that's you know one of the problems with you know trying to gather replays with this type of deck is because a lot of people quit um <clears throat> and and uh, another thing I know this has nothing really to do with the deck this card is really becoming one of my favorite cards to even have uh because that <laughs> it's just so good um it's it's it sickens my heart that it's you have to wait a turn but waiting that turn is so fucking good because when you get to resolve it, it's just, it's just so good. I just love the card. But another card I do want to talk about is this behemoth of a card because this is, oh man, I love this card so fucking much. I don't know why I wasn't playing it. I really don't. I'm really upset at myself that I was not playing this earlier. This card is so good. It helps everything out. It helps everything out. So as you can see, I already did all my field cards. What's the name? Uh, everything I, you know, I did all my field card. Did I search ill blood? Okay, so I should normal summon. No, see, look, that's my fault. I should have normal summoned, and there's no reason I sh did not normal summon. There's no reason I didn't. Um, I easily could have went power tool, but I was just trying to get over this. So that's why I went Shogun Saga, and I guess I didn't want to take extra. Oh, that's why I didn't do that. Okay, well, that makes sense. So as you can see, um, 
Bam, Coral Dragon, once again, being a tuner is extra good. So we'll go to Tzokin. Tzokin can summon Power Tool, which is crazy. I don't think a lot of people realize that. It says you can summon one Power Tool Synchro Monster. Is this a dragon? No, it's a machine. So yeah, it says you can special summon one Power Tool. And I did not, I just remembered it during this duel. And this is like, this is the second day I was playing this deck. So, bam, set the card, activate what's the name, banish that, normal summon the Gemini, supervise, bam. Then bam, we free level eights and all that. So that's that's just automatically cool. And as you see, my field is already filled, and you know, pretty much this is a game over. Now, what would have really sucked is if if I did not hit that card, that um, I did not would have hit this, and it would have still been over. But let's say I didn't even want to do anything. It gains nine up for each with the same name. So already it's going to be sixteen. Then what is this? That's the extra what's the name? That's the extra nine. What does it say? That's the extra nine. Uh, so that's 1,800. So he would have been at, she would have been at 34 fucking 100. 34 over my 23 would not have been game, but it's still scary to think about that, you know, that was going to happen or whatnot. Now, I do want to show another replay, but I may have to pause it because uh, I do have to go outside for a second, but until that happens we're going to just continue to play this but this is what i'm talking about this deck can explode on the first turn but it just needs all the right cards as you can see i have soul charge and anytime you got soul charge you just you're doing fantastic now this man could have killed me do, don't tell me why i don't know why he didn't kill me he could have killed me because of that fucking fire card that i fucking hate <laughs> that fire card he does have in his deck that uh the one that uh attacks all and pierce that is some bullshit so as you can see, I'm just going off. Just going off of my opponent. And it's go to a free Omega. Get that back. Um, there's no reason to go Omega. Now, this is this is before I ran uh, the other... Uh, before, before I ran Red Eyes, or I would have did it. And then I would really put him just in some, in some shit. Because I could have Shadow Spread, too. So, <clears throat> but, it, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go Void or Dragon. We're going to do... We're going to do the things we want to do. So we're going to negate that. But, you know, like always, they always have the second one. Every time. I don't know if it happens to y'all, but every time I play Eidolons, they always have the second. Now, I don't know why he didn't do any of this card, any of this stuff. I, I guess he just didn't want to do it. So, <clears throat> as you can see, I still have... Look, look. If you check my graveyard, I still have Spectral Sword and the Sage just sitting there. And it's just waiting. And I still have all these cards to, you know, still use. I mean, Instant Fusion is pretty much dead. But, like I said, I still have all these cards. I'm going to Shadow Spread. Um, he was, I mean, he was drawn into a Dimensional Barrier. But <clears throat> I'm going to Crystal Wings. He's going to attack for that. And we're going to be all good. So, yeah. Um, like I said, the deck does work. But it's just, I need something to help it out. So, if you guys can, uh, please. Uh, let's see. We're going to um, probably watch a couple more replays. And I'm just going to, you know, like I said, commentate over it and whatnot. But like I said, if you guys can help me out, please help me out. Um, I, I really enjoy playing this deck. It's really fun to play. So if you guys want to try it out, definitely try it out. It's really fun to play. It's just I need something to help it go faster. And I know what you're looking. I know what you're probably saying is you just went void in Omega with a shadow spread. How faster do you need it to go? I need it to go faster because Zodiacs are coming. Eidolons are coming. And nobody's. I, I guess for some reason everybody forgot about it, but Fluffles are st are still coming in February. No, not February. I don't know when the fucking structure, not the structure, that, but the pack comes out. I do not know when the pack comes out, but that is when uh, the Fluffles get their new shit. So that card is coming out too. Um, and as you can see, that, look, look, man, this this Catalyst field is just so goddamn good. So you see, I was going to a prior tool, and and Goblin Zombie is can tutor and utilize everything in his damn deck. For free, search the ill blood. So, <clears throat> bam, summon, get this. Mm. Sage once again gets the one star tuner. And look, bam, what's the name? All right, so yeah, I told you guys that I was gonna have to, what's the name, go outside. So I'll be right back. All right, sorry for that. Sorry for uh, if you guys that shit was pretty loud because it was loud to me. So, <clears throat> as you can see, the deck can go off and you free crystal wing dragons when you when you get this combo off. Is it free crystal ring dragon? Your opponent doesn't see it coming, so I believe even if he no, because yeah, I would have went to uh what is his name? 
Could have just went to uh, uh, what's the name? What is what the fuck am I talking about? Where's Draco? Okay, yeah, Draco's act. That's what I would have went to to um pretty much get that uh going. So yeah, like I said, you know the deck the deck is all right. You know, wait, is this the same one? Yeah, that's the same one I just watched. So that is not what we want to do. Let's see what else what what else is over here? Cause I forgot half the shit I done did. Um, all right, I, I haven't seen this one yet. So. All right, so let's see what we can do. As you can see, like the allures do kind of play a factor in what's the name? Bam, like you see, we do into a double ill blood. And that's 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 really a, a big problem. It's we uh <clears throat> draw into double ill blood. Now here here we go where um I, I, I messed up. Now I easily could have targeted this, sent the Mizuki, bam, goblin zombie, power tool. Easy. You know what I mean? Easy money, easy like that. Could have went what's the name? Could have went uh could have could have actually searched what's the name? Could have actually searched the Mizuki, right? Targeted this, just detaching the Mizuki. Do I have a one star in there? No, I only have a two star. Alright, so that maybe that wasn't the best play. But I'm just saying that you know I could have easily did that. <clears throat> and then uh actually I think I'm going for game here. Easily could have did that. And then, you know, we could have just kept going from there. Could have went to, actually, we could have went into, we could have went to Ultimate Tezoken, believe it or not, because I would have went into a Draco Sack. Draco Sack would have got me two tokens. Then I could have, uh, you know, Mizuki, like I said, the one I ditched after I searched. Uh, the one I ditched, bam, go to Coral Dragon, uh, or actually start his charge, draw into on the lore. Then a lord draws me in a super vice and spectral sword, and then as you see, you know, I had a burial and shit. So that would that's better play in hindsight, but like I said, the same play I did was just as good because you know I still ended up with you know, everything I really wanted to do. So now here we go. <clears throat> Power tool, and we can search what's the name. Damn it, we didn't get the damn DDR. Because DDR would have been DDR discard this, got back a Mizuki. Then I could have went into the Crystal Wing play. Which is easy to go into. But as you can see, you know, we can't really do this. And your opponent always has Regeki. But <clears throat> as you can see, uh, I don't know why I keep saying but a lot. But damn it. Uh, yeah, the deck does work. But I want it to be faster. That's that's the only thing. And I need you guys to pretty much help me out with that. Because um, I really don't know what to do. I tried everything. I, I switched it up and did all uh, and all that. And as you can see, I'm going to the, the the famous Crystal Wing play that really only requires two cards, which is a Spectral Sword and a Mizuki, which is pretty good. You can still you can do that really any tuner and a Mizuki, any zombie tuner and a Mizuki. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Um, let's see what this one is. Uh, I I know exactly what the duel is. Okay, now this is a pretty decent duel. Um, <clears throat> going up against Subterrors. Now, I was a little scared, and as you can see, the card he has in his hand, that trap card, scared the shit out of me. But, once again, because of Catalyst Field, because of fucking Coral Dragon, everything is going to be alright. So, as you can see, bam, going to that Tribute to Sage. Now, what I probably should have did, um, no, was there a better play? Yes, yes, there was. I could have sent, what's the name? But I wanted to set up for next turn. I think that was the whole thing. I could have just sent Goblin Zombie, cert, and then went into uh, Shogun Saga and attacked over this, right? And then went, I could Black Rose, but now I'll just be left with nothing. I think this is the better play. Yeah, this is the exact better play. So, bam, going to Core Dragon. We didn't get to use Catalyst Field. Don't know why I said that. But we get a free draw. Bam. Mm hmm. Allure, just to thin out the deck. Black Rose, bam. So now we're good. And we have set up for next turn. This is why I really love... Uh, this is why I really love Spectre Sword. Now, I know this has nothing to do with uh, the, the Ill Vice deck. But I'm just saying, you know, it, it, it is a pretty cool duel to actually watch. And I think I want to watch one more duel that really came down to the wire. Uh, it's not really down to the wire. I think we just went back and forth. But I have to find it, of course. So, <clears throat> as you can see, he does have the max seed to draw three. I don't care. Like I said, you're going to get those cards because I'm playing against sub terrors. You have to fucking set. You have to set up some cards. So that means I, I'm just decent. I'm, I'm real good right now. I'm feeling real good. I draw into a foolish burial, and so here I'm like, all right, what can I do? 
um, I say let's go into the power tool dragon. Let's go and let's get this deck functioning and starting. So as you can see, um, <clears throat> it, it, this is why I play Zombie Master. Zombie Master, you can ditch the oh, but do I have a Mizuki in there? Uh, no, I don't. But <clears throat> that's why I play Zombie Master because Zombie Master can ditch the ill blood to put it in the graveyard to special summon this, and that's a free what's the name? Not a free, but that is pretty much a two card, you know, power to a dragon. Even though it would always be a two card power to a dragon. <laughs> Do not know why I said that. Should yeah, should increase that. <laughs> Excuse me, did not mean to burp in you guys' ear, but <clears throat> as you can see, bam, go into that, use that. Go into that, bam, 5,500, and then, you know, he's going to get one of these out, and so that's why I'm going to use the Draco, Draco Sack token to do that. And, as you see, he goes into his, he goes into his little play, goes to the Uma Strix, and I don't know why he, 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 he banished this, but, um, I mean, different choices for different folks. And I top deck my Sage, and since Sage is such a wonderful card that attributes any zombie, we can go ahead and put the Black Rose back with Omega, do 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 and we could have searched Catalyst Field and, you know, continued to kept going. But I said, you know what, that was a pretty fine duel. So we're going to just end it off of that. All right. So I do have one more duel. How long is this video? It's on 16 minutes. I did not expect it to go this long. Um, but you know what? Let's see if we can find that last duel. It was a little, it's a little back and forth. That was absolutely a stinker. So we're not going to show those. Uh, let's see what else this duel right here now this is a pretty decent duel and as you can see my hand is complete fucking trash now it, it, it's this 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 is my whole main reason um, with really wanting some help with this deck because this shit right here is just trash like you can't do anything with that but I did draw into the wow I was not playing Tzolkin huh okay yeah I figured I was I figured I was not playing Tzolkin because I was like why did I hell why the fuck did I do that so yeah, like I said, I did go through some pre-alpha builds, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> this man is a uh, is going off right here. So he goes into this Felgrin. Felgrin banishes the Mizuki. Well, a lot of people continue to ban. I don't. Why do you? I don't. I don't. I don't get it. If there's any dragon players really watching this video, just let me know. Why do y'all banish the Mizuki when the tuners are the best thing to do? Now, my mistake was doing this. Don't don't do this. If if this ever comes, don't do this. Don't don't do that because that's pretty much the whole deck. And, and, and my idiot self, once again, this is like one of the first times I was playing the deck. My idiot self, I never seen this card before. But yeah, my idiot self decided that that was the best play. So here we go. I'm gonna go into Power Tool Dragon. Do not. That's why we didn't go into that. Now that's why I didn't Black Rose, is because he does have a Gospel Revival. So if you guys are wondering why I didn't, that's why you don't. And uh, as you can see, uh, my what's name just go ahead and go ahead and get killed. Uh, my uh, what is his name? My uh, DDR go ahead and got killed because that's that's just the way it is. But you know we still came out on top because we did get to go into a um once again using this catalyst field which is good and i did not know this man drew regeki um i forgot all about that and that, that's why th this card is really good and so i really thought i had had i had the thing on lots but no he did uh have regeki also but you know what's cool we have a spectral sword in the graveyard and spectral sword is going to pretty much bring us back in the game so now we got zombie world because we only played one so the terraforming was a top deck and you see he drew into his dragon's ravine and the next card he's going to draw is really going to pretty much just just be the fucking ultimate counter look at that now that right there is ridiculous he literally had game had i not terraforming and got the zombie world so that is just that's pretty good but yeah like I said, this really, you know, doesn't really show too much of the ill vice. But like I said, it's, it's just a good back and forth duel down to 14. It's a pretty good duel. But yeah, so I know this is a pretty long video. Sorry for that. Hope you guys did enjoy the replay and stuff. But yeah, man, let me know what you what you guys, please help me out with this because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm still going to probably be playing Bujins on Wednesday. But on Thursday, we can probably continue this little thing we got going on here so yeah if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment let me know what i should change in the deck um and all that noise and stuff and jazz please help me out i really need some help with this deck um uh, yeah so yeah leave a comment let me know what you think about the deck um also subscribe if you have not a upload monday wednesday and friday 
uh, regularly upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but you know, like today, some special times where I do upload uh, more than three times a week. So I would say you guys are getting a minimum of three videos a week, so you guys can look forward to that. And also, if you guys can click at to help support the channel, would be very appreciative and it helps me out a, a lot. So thank you guys very much, and I will see you guys Wednesday with another video.